How are you? Sorry that I can't be with you again today. Uh, I was near somebody who had COVID and, uh, but my test came back negative. But I'll be with you guys again on Friday. Uh, this next lesson is gonna be on uh, abstract expressionism. And uh, we're gonna be studying the, the work of uh, uh, Mark Rothko, okay? A uh, very famous uh, painter from, uh, from that time, uh, one of the founding members of the movement. And uh, so he uh, uh, painted these very, uh, very nice color, I would say color palette paintings, okay? And if you watch the videos, uh, you'll see the videos on American, uh, abstract expressionism and also the work of uh, Mark Rothko. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you a little bit of, of how to make one and how to set up your, uh, your piece of paper. The piece of paper I chose is about 9 by 12, okay? As you can see, uh, you know, I kind of uh, already drew it out. Uh, I set it up where I set my border at 3 quarters of an inch all around. Um, and uh, my, my rectangles um, are about 3 inches each. And then the two lines in the middle are approximately uh, a little over uh, a half inch, uh, between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. Um, and so basically what I want you to do, I don't want you to worry about the, uh, the lines. You'll, you'll know as you uh, start to, uh, to put your, uh, your color down uh, that they're gonna disappear. Actually, when I did mine, and you'll see it at the end, I actually drew my lines over the first color, okay? Red happens to be my most favorite color. And so that's what I, I laid down first. Um, and I, I'm not gonna do an entire piece. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through it. And so what I want you to do is use the color of your choice. It could be any color, all right? I, I, I chose red. And I want you to go ahead and kind of rub it in. Okay, you're gonna cover the whole entire piece, okay? going to cover your whole paper from edge to edge okay and then you're going to just use your fingers and you're going to rub it out make it nice and smooth okay so that you don't see anything any white underneath it okay and then as you're doing this now you'll see that the uh the black line begins to disappear okay and if you if you do your black line you're over over your uh um, over your drawing, it, it, uh, over your color, you won't see it at all. But actually, to tell you the truth, I kind of like the way it's looking this way. It's going to add to the drawing. Remember, there's magic when you actually show up to the piece of paper, okay? Once you cover it, okay, and I'll just show you this way. This is what I'll do. I'll actually maybe fill in a lot of this. So then you're gonna choose three different colors. On mine, I chose green, yellow, and purple. You choose whatever colors you like, okay? And again, using my finger, I'm gonna go ahead, and if you have to add more color, you add more color, all right? It's not a problem. And that's the thing, you just keep going back over this. By the way, I'm using oil pastels. Mark Rothko used oil paint. But we're not going to use that today. We're just going to use oil pastels. And you'll really see a nice effect. Okay. Then I'm going to choose another color. Again, I'll say purple. Okay. That's the color I like. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over that whole piece. So I'll just kind of show you now what I'm talking about, okay? So you kind of see where the red covers it, and you see where I rubbed the black line? It's actually gonna to add to the piece. So either way, you wanna draw over, the, over the, uh, the color or under the color, up to you, okay? And then you can see I started putting the purple over the red. Now, it's gonna mix, it's okay. And then, again, using your finger, 
you're gonna go ahead and kind of smooth that out, all right? And once you look at the videos and the how-to, um, you'll really get an idea of what it's supposed to look like, okay? Again, it's your work, you know, have at it. If you decide to do something different or work at it in a different manner, I'd love to see what it looks like, okay? So that's just with one color. You can kind of see how beautiful that looks now, okay? And, you know, smoothing out the edges so it's not so hard, all right? So that's basically what I want you to do. If you have any questions, please give me a call. In the end, whoops, this is what mine look like, okay? So it's purple here, yellow here, and um, uh, I'm sorry, green, yellow, and purple, okay? So then you can also turn it upside down, okay? And, and that's really a three-dimensional, you know, painting is gonna work kind of any way you put it. It even works well like this, okay? Right? So have at it, enjoy the process, because that's what it's all about. And I will see everybody on Friday.